Well, we're at the 2015 Match Convention, and we're in the Four Seasons booth, and with me is Ryan Coyman. And uh, Ryan's going to help us with something that I have seen a lot of issues with, and, you know, you may have too. People that make mistakes when they're installing air conditioning compressors, and I think we got that boiled down to maybe, well, there's a lot, but <laughs> yeah. probably three or four that happens all the time. You know, we see a ton of these things uh, at, at Advanced Auto Parts and at CarQuest, and I know you guys do too. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, Ryan, tell us a little bit about what you guys are seeing, starting with what's maybe number one. Well, Jim, I think one of the number one faults with compressor replacements today is not cleaning the system well enough after a catastrophic event of the, the previous compressor. You know, some guys say, it took me three compressors before I got a good one. Well, they're actually flushing it three different times there. So we have to do a good, proper flush job the first time, get those contaminants out of the system. You know, with today's new microtube-style condensers, it's almost impossible to flush those out. So you really need to replace the condenser, along with the orifice tube, the accumulator, and do a good, thorough component flush of each piece. Yeah, and get it flushed, uh, re replacing the uh, orifice tube, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and certainly the uh, the canisters, too, that are involved, depending on which type of system that, that you yeah, have. Yeah, absolutely. Right. absolutely. Uh, another thing, uh, when we see compressors leaking at the seal, uh, yeah. a, a couple of things that I think is going wrong is that people don't take the time to turn the clutch 10, 12 times or something to get it right. lubricated. And a trick that I just learned today from one of your engineers <laughs> was to put it on its nose for a yeah. while and get that oil down into the seal. So uh, I think probably leaking compressor seals is, is uh, a big problem. That, right? That's a huge one as well. As you mentioned here, when we put the oil in the compressor, you want to rotate it on its nose. Get that good lubricated there, rotate it 10 to 12 times. And then also make sure that the mounting surfaces are straight. If that compressor is mounted on an angle or twisted a little bit, what's going to result? A, a leak of the compressor itself. So that's very important to do as well. Yeah, it certainly is. Some of the compressors are actually made in two pieces, and uh, like right here in the middle, you can see where the castings are brought together. So imagine putting that down on a surface that's not completely level, yeah. uh, and it's going to, to twist it, yep. bend it, if you yep. will. Distort it. Yep, and yep. the seal's going to leak. Isn't yes, exactly. It? Right. Okay, exactly. So what else are we seeing? Well, another big one is not having the proper voltage at the compressor clutch itself. You need a minimum of 12 volts. With some of the older styles, it goes through multiple switches before it gets here, and so we have voltage drop at each connection point. And that results in possibly as low as 8 volts to the compressor clutch here. That's going to result in a slippage of the, of the clutch here itself, overheats it, causes seal failure also. Make sure you've got good proper voltage to the compressor clutch. Yeah, and it's a great point, Ryan. And besides the seal failure, it actually accelerates the clutch itself uh, yeah. burning up. Boy, yeah. we've seen some that were just horrible looking from uh, the, the, the tremendous amount yeah, of it slips, heat. It overheats. There's a lot of nasty stuff in there. So make sure you get good, good power there. That's right. Okay, one more thing. Uh, sometimes we, we hear a lot about noisy air con conditioning compressors. And, you know, sometimes it's due to having, like, too much air in the yes. system. Uh, yeah. And as much as, what, 2%? probably yeah. of, of yeah. air is going to do that. So you yep. want to have a refrigerant identifier, perhaps, yeah. to see how much yep. air is in there. Yep. We see that kind of a lot? Yeah, very, very much. Also, when you're replacing the component, it's key to do a good evacuation. You need to draw a deep vacuum into the system for at least 45 minutes. If you're working on a dual AC system, you need at least an hour and a half, double that amount of time. So we want to pull a good deep vacuum of as low as 500 microns a good, good vacuum. That's going to boil any moisture in the system out, as well as get all the air out of it. So when you recharge it, it's pure freon in the system now. That's going to help the condens or the compressor last a lot longer. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, let's talk about one more thing, a, a different part this time, yeah. the clutch, right? <laughs> well, where do we begin? So, Ryan, tell us a little bit about uh, using the proper tool and that sort of thing that can help uh, prolong the life of the clutch and perhaps prevent a catastrophic failure of the whole AC system. Yeah, well, it needs to be adjusted properly, have the proper air gaps with it. Look at the manufacturer's specs. They're out there. The, believe it or not, the instructions do include that information with it, and so we want to have that adjusted properly. But another key to the system here, a lot of people forget about airflow, and we need good airflow across the condenser to help, help the system be balanced out and help it operate properly. And so quite often people forget about this fan clutch here, uh, like a Dodge truck with a, with a Cummins diesel engine, for example. See, a lot of people replace the compressor and not the fan clutch. 
these things will set codes that might not necessarily turn on the check engine light. So some people overlook it, but it's important to scan the vehicle, look for DTCs, test the fan clutch itself, and, and make sure it's working properly. If not, the head pressure is going to be extremely high on this and cause premature failure as well. So it's very important to have good airflow across the condenser when you're doing any type of AC job. So don't forget to test that kind of stuff. That's right. All right, so the clutch is, the, the seals themselves, the, the mounting surface, all those things can go a long, long way into making sure that your AC compressor uh, replacement job doesn't go bad.